Yeah, welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are set to square off against the Washington Warriors defending state championship baseball team here this evening. And before we get started, we'll go over your starting lineup one more time. Your one-hole hitter is going to be number 16, Bentley Kessler. Two-hole number three, Ty Ferguson, followed by number 11, Tucker Morris. Number 21, Bo Blankenship. Number nine, Aiden Ramage. Number 22, Clayton Sanders. Number 10, Brody Ramming. Number four, Mitchell Henson. And number one, Caleb Ince. Kessler and Ferguson over there warming up, getting ready to step up. And your starting lineup for Washington will be number three, Sutton Moore, followed by number eight, Marlon Moore, then Cam Bates, Kane Springer, Dax McCaskill, Jake Wells, Nate Roberts, Cade Norman, Mason Thomas, and Jake Coles. Pulling pitching duties for the Washingtons will be number eight, Marlon Moore. First pitch called ball. Second pitch on the way. Called ball. 2-0 the count now for Kessler. Kessler pops it up over second base. Right in the shallow center field. Nice single there for Kessler. And that's going to bring up number three, Ty Ferguson for the Leopards. First pitch called strike 0-1, now the count. Kessler cheating out there a little bit on first. Looking to try to steal second. Pitch away. It's going to be Ferguson showing bunt. Going to be fouled away. That will bring the count to 0-2. Pitch away. It's going to be fouled away. Count will remain 0 and 2. With number 11, Tucker Moore's waiting his turn to bat. Ty Ferguson still up. Pitches away. Going to be popped up again for another foul. Way out into no man's land. Had a lot of height. Bentley Kessler still the lone runner over on first. Ferguson. Waiting on the pitch. 0-2 the count. Pitches away. Going to be popped up over shallow left field. Well hit ball there for Ferguson. That's going to put Bentley Kessler over on second. Again, Ferguson's going to be on first with Tucker Morris up to bat next for the Leopards. Pitches away. Going to be bunted over, and they're 
able to throw Kessler out there on third base. That'll be the out number one as with Morris on first, Ty Ferguson out on second, and that's going to bring Bo Blankenship up to bat for the Leopards. Pitch away, fouled away with Aiden Ramage waiting his turn. Pitches away. Looked low and inside, but the ump disagreed, called it strike. 0-2, now the count with one out. Morris out there on first. Ferguson on second. Blankenship swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three, out number two for this top of the first inning for the Leopards. That'll bring up number nine, Aiden Ramage, to bat for the Leopards. Pitches away. Inside. It'll be ball number one. Next pitch away. Swung at and missed. Strike one, one, one. Now the count. Third base, the only empty base on the field for the Leopards. Pitch away. Cold strike. Again, looked, looked inside from up here, but I'm just going to call it strike one, two. Now the count. Next pitch is away, and it hit Ramage on the elbow. And as, as I was saying, folks, uh, from where I'm standing, most of these pitches have been inside. Um, I think the ump was about to call strike on that one until he realized it hit Ramage's elbow. That's going to load the bases and bring up Clayton Sanders to bat for the Leopards. A little bit of confusion out on the field. We're trying to figure out what this ump wants. And it looks like Ponce is going to come in to pull running duties for Tucker Morris. Bases loaded with two outs. Clayton Sanders is going to be up to bat for the Leopards. Pitch away. Way outside, called ball. 1-0 the count. Next pitch away. Called ball two. 2-0 two the count for Sanders. Brody Ramming waiting his turn to bat. Bases loaded. Pitch away. Going to be popped up. Over to second. Shortstop's going to make the play there at second for out number three. Leopards are going to go back to the dugout, leaving three on the field. With that said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopards Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
Welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Warriors. We're going to enter the bottom of the second inning scoreless as the Leopards left three on the field. Pulling pitching duties for the Leopards today is going to be Tucker Morris. And it looks like Clayton, Clayton Sanders is going to be catching for the Leopards today. Third base is going to be Brody Ramming, short. Bentley Kessler, second. Ty Ferguson. And first is going to be Bo Blankenship. First pitch called ball. Second pitch called ball. 2-0. Now the count. Out in right field is going to be Caleb in center. Going to be Mr. Henson, Mitchell Henson. And out in left looks like it's going to be Aiden Ramage. Count now 3-0 with make that 4-0. Number three, Sutton Moore is going to head over to first base. And that will bring up the two-hole hitter, Marlon Moore. With Cam Bates waiting his turn to bat. Pitch away. Cold strike. 0-1 now the count. And Morris checking the runner over on first, keeping him honest. Blankenship does a good job of snagging that ball up. Next pitch. It's going to be popped up over to right field. Entz unable to grab the out as the ball lands about 10 feet. Outside the fence, but nice effort there by Ince. Pitch away. Inside. Sanders going for the throw down at sick and overthrows Ty Ferguson. Henson bails him out as there was a collision there on second or else that runner may have Went ahead and took off over to third. Again, great effort there by Henson to save that ball. One, two, the count. Lone runner out on second. It's going to be Sutton Moore. Marlon Moore up to bat. Pitch away. Going to be fouled way out far right. It's going to bring one, two, will be the count. No outs. Lone runner out on second. Pitch away inside. Called ball. Two, two, now the count. Pitch away. Called ball. 3-2. Now the count as you have a full count. The next pitch is away. And it hits the batter. Looks like it hit him there on the left wrist. That'll bring up number one, Cam Bates, the three-hole hitter for Washington. Runners more and more out on first and second. That'll be Sutton Moore and Marlon Moore. Pitch away. Cold strike. 0-1 oh, to count.
Next pitch away far inside. Could have hit. Could have hit Bates, but he hunkered down to the ground and decided not to take one for the team. One one to count now. Tucker keeping more honest out there on second. Connects with Kessler. Next pitch is away. Swung at and missed. One two now the count. Again, the only empty base on the field is third base. Pitches away, swung at and missed. Strike number three. And that'll send Bates back to the dugout. And bring up number 21, the four-hole hitter, Kane Springer for the Warriors. Pitches away, called strike. A one to count now. It's going to be popped up to center. Henson able to snag it up for out number two. Henson out there making it look easy. But if you had a bead on him here from uh, from the stream, you know he it, it took a, a, a lot of effort and some fast wheels to get up and get over and get under that ball and Henson made it look easy. That's going to bring up five hole hitter number 12, Dax McCaskill. First pitch in the air on the way called strike. 0-1 now the count with two outs. Next pitch swung at and missed. 0 oh, 2 now the count. Morris just one strike away from sending the Warriors back to the dugout. Next pitch away. Inside. And it looks like it hit the batter. That's going to load the bases. And that'll bring up the designated hitter, number 14, Jake Wells. Pitch away. Going to be fouled away. A one to count, two outs, bases loaded, pitch away, called strike, 0-2 oh, the count now. Again, one strike away. Next pitch in the arrow on the way. It's going to be a line drive just past Kessler out there. In short, and it looks like the Warriors are going to be able to put two points on the board. Nice job of Ramage out there saving the ball, getting it in quick enough to uh, save that third point. And that'll bring up the seven-hole hitter for the Warriors, number nine, Nate Roberts. 
Runners on first and second. Two outs. Only empty bases. Number three. Next pitch. Cold strike. A one. Now the count. Next pitch away. Cold strike. 0-2 now the count. Ball in the air. 1-2. One, two, the count now. Pitch away. Swung at and missed for strike number three, out number three. That's going to close out the first inning with the Warriors on top, two to zero. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopards Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Warriors here. We're going to enter the top of the second inning. Warriors on top, two to zero. First up to bat for the Leopards here will be number 10, Brody Ramming, your seven-hole hitter. And Ramming will be followed by Mitchell Henson and Caleb Entz. First pitch away, Colt strike, a one to count. Next pitch, low and inside, Colt ball, one, one now the count. Two, one, now the count. Pitch away. Fouled away. Fouled away over into the Leopards dugout. Number eight more still pulling pitching duties for the Warriors. Next pitch in the air. Called strike. As ramming strikes out, that'll be out number one for this top of the second inning. That'll bring up Mitchell Henson, number four, to bat for the Leopards. First pitch away. It's going to be a blooper over to third. Warriors able to get Henson out over there on first. And that's going to bring up number one, Caleb Enns, to bat for the Leopards. First pitch away. Cold strike. A one to count. Next pitch is going to be popped. Grounder over to second. 
And they're going to make it look easy for out number three. And that'll close out the top of the second inning here as the Leopards unable to put any points on the board. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. And welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Washington Warriors here. We're going to enter the bottom of the second inning. Warriors on top, two to zero. First pitch is going to be fouled away down the third baseline. That'll bring make the count 0-1. Warriors eight hole hitter number 16, Cade Norman, up to bat. Next pitch away. Swung at and missed. Strike number two. 0 oh, 2 the count. Next pitch in the air. It's going to be popped up. And Blankenship able to get underneath it. That'll be out number one for the Warriors. And that'll bring up number 13, the nine-hole hitter, Mason Thomas. First pitch called strike, 0-1 the count, one out. Next pitch in the air. Looked to be a little low and outside called ball, 1-1 one, one now the count. Next pitch away, called strike, 1-2 the count. Next pitch, way outside. That'll bring the count to two and two. Next pitch away. Swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Out number two, and it'll bring up. Bring us back to the top of the lineup with the one hole hitter number three Sutton Moore first pitch called strike a one the count next pitch in the air called strike o2 now the count Next pitch, popped up foul. Count will remain 0-2. Next pitch away, 
Little high called ball. One, two, the count. Next pitch is going to be over the fence. That'll be the first homer of the game for the Washington Warriors. That's going to put the Warriors on top, three to zero. First pitch called ball, 1-0 oh, the count. With number eight, Marlon Moore up to bat for the Warriors. Next pitch in the air. Way inside, called ball, 2-0 oh, the count. Correction, 3-0 the count. Next pitch, way inside, almost hit more. Old ball, that's going to send more over to first and bring up number one, Cam Bates. First pitch called ball, 1-0 the count. And Sanders looking for the throw down out on second. Unable to get it. That'll leave the runner out there on second. With 2-0 the count. Ball fouled away. That'll bring the count to two and one. Next pitch away. Going to be a grounder over to second. Ferguson able to snag it up and... Gets the ball to Blankenship over at first. That'll be out number three. That's going to close out the second inning with the Warriors able to put one more on the scoreboard, bringing the score to 3-0. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are opening up the top of the third inning down three to zero. We're back at the top of the lineup with number 16, Bentley Kessler, up to bat for the Leopards. First pitch away. Pops off the catcher's foot. It'll be ball number one. Next pitch away. Two oh now the count with one out. Next pitch in the air looked to be a little inside. Ball three. Three oh the count. Next pitch, called ball. That's going to send Ferguson over to first and bring up number 11, Tucker Morris, to bat for the Leopards. Next pitch away, called ball. 1 0 the count. Next pitch is going to be a grounder over to second. Second baseman snags it up, makes the fourth, forced out on Ferguson, and they get a forced out over on first with Morris. That's going to close out. The top of the third inning, Leopards unable to make any traction. Warriors still on top, 3-0. to zero. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back once again here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are entering the bottom of the third inning. Down three to zero. Number 21, Kane Stringer up to bat for the Warriors. Last pitch was called a strike. That's going to bring the count to 0-2. Next pitch is away. Knocked over. Line drive over to the shortstop, Bentley Kessler, who makes it look easy, and that'll be out number one here for the bottom of the third inning. 
Bringing up number 12, Dax McCaskill to bat for the Warriors. Next pitch. Look to be low. Ball number 1-1-0 one, one, oh, the count. Next pitch away. Going to be a blooper over to third. Ramming able to connect with Blankenship for the forced out there on first. That'll be out number two. It'll bring up number 14. Jake Wells to bat for the Warriors. First pitch away, fouled away. Next pitch. Way outside, called ball 1-1 one, one the count. Next pitch away. Again, it's going to be fouled far right. Ents unable to get underneath that one. One, two, the count. Pitch away. Look to be high. Ump agrees. Two, two, now the count with two outs. That one's going to be fouled away. Count will remain two and two. And that'll be strike number three, out number three. Leopards. Able to hold the Warriors at three here as we close out the third inning. Stay tuned. We're going to open up the fourth inning here in just a few moments. You're watching Leopards Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back once again here to Washington, Oklahoma, where your Leopards are taking on the Washington Warriors. We're going to enter the top of the fourth inning. Warriors on top, three to zero. First up to bat for the Leopards will be the four-hole hitter, number 21, Bo Blankenship. First pitch called ball, 1-0 the count. Next pitch swung at and missed. Strike number one, one, one. Now the count. Waiting on the next pitch. It's away in the air. It's going to be popped up over. And had a, quite a bit of distance, but uh, it was popped up over the fence far left field. Bringing the count to one and two.
next pitch. Away, it's going to be popped up just over third base. And the shortstop, number one, Cam Bates, able to get up underneath it for out number one. That'll bring up Aiden Ramage, number nine, to bat for the Leopards. Pitch in the air. Way inside. Called ball. 1-0 the count. Pitch away. Look to be high. Ump agreed. 2-0 now the count. Next pitch away. Cold ball, 3-0 the count. Nearly hit Ramage there. Next pitch away. Called strike. Looked way inside to me, but Ump disagrees. Called it strike. 3-1 now the count with one out. Next pitch called ball. That's going to send Ramage over to first. And bring up Clayton Sanders, number 22, to bat for the Leopards. Brody Ramming waiting his turn. Next pitch away. Swung at. Going to be just outside the first baseline. Oh, one the count. Ramage takes off over to second. Leaving the corners empty. Next pitch, going to be fouled away. Looks like it landed just behind the Leopards dugout. 0-2 the count. Next pitch away. Gonna, ball's going to be popped up over to left field. Hits the fence. Left fielder unable to get the ball. N nice double there for Sanders, who also advances Ramage over to third. And that's going to bring up number 10, Brody Ramming, to bat for the Leopards. And Parker Dotson's. Going to be pulling uh, running duties there for Sanders. Warriors going to take a little bit of a break here as the Leopards starting to figure out this pitcher and bats are starting to heat up for the Leopards. Leopards only have one out here. And Coach Edwards, he's going to take the opportunity to speak with his guys a little bit too as he's already gave – Brody ramming some marching orders there. And now he's talking up Parker Dotson and Ramage with Henson waiting his turn to bat. Pitch on the way as it hits ramming in the back. And... That's going to load the bases. And bring up Mitchell Henson to bat for the Leopards. Again, folks, only one out. 
here as we're in the top of the fourth inning. First pitch in the air on the way called strike. 0-1 oh, the count. Next pitch away. Called strike. Looked to be a little low and inside. 0-2 oh, the count. Next pitch away. Again, looked low inside. This time the ump agrees. 1-2 will be the count. With only one out and bases loaded. Pitch away. Little outside called ball. 2-2 two, two the count. Ramming on first. Parker Dotson out there running for Sanders on second. And Aiden Ramage out on third. Mitchell Henson pulling batting duties right now. Waiting on the ball. Pitches in the air. Swung out and missed. That'll be strike number three out number two as Mitchell Henson heads back to the dugout. And that's going to bring up number one, Caleb Ince, to bat for the Leopards. Ball in the air on the way. Nice little line drive past the first baseman. And that's going to bring Aiden Ramage across home and put the Leopards' first point of the game on the board. And that's going to bring up the one-hole hitter, number 16, Bentley Kessler for the Leopards with bases loaded. And, and, folks, if you follow Leopards baseball, you know Bentley Kessler is dangerous behind the bat. And it looks like, I'm not sure what's going on there, but the ump is warning the Leopards dugout. Uh, I think maybe they had some, I, I'm not sure what was going on there. Nevertheless, we got a ball game. First pitch in the air on the way, called strike. Oh, one, the count, two outs, bases loaded. Caleb Entz on first. Brody Ramming out on second, and Parker Dotson running for Sanders out on third. Next pitch called to strike. 0-2 oh, now the count. Pitch in the air, on the way, called ball. 1-2 the count for Kessler. Pitch on the way, way outside, 2-2 two, two now the count. Again, ends, ramming, and Dotson out there on first, second, third, respectively. Pitch in the air, popped up just outside the first baseline, and the Warriors able to snag it up. Leopard's going to leave three on the field and close out the top of the fourth inning with a score, three to one, Warriors on top. Stay tuned, we're gonna enter the bottom of the fourth inning here in just a few moments. You're watching Leopards Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma. Your Leopards close out the fourth inning, able to uh, close out the top of the fourth inning, able to put a point on the board. That's going to bring the score three to one. Washington still on top. We're going to start out the bottom of the fourth here with the number seven hole hitter, number nine, Nate Roberts, up to bat for the Warriors. First pitch called strike, 0 1 the count. Next pitch called ball. That'll bring the count to one and one. Roberts waiting on the pitch. Pitch in the air on the way. Going to be a nice line drive just past Bentley Kessler out there. The shortstop. Mitchell Henson able to do exactly what he does best. Backs up Kessler. Holds the runner up there on first. And that's going to bring up the eight-hole hitter, number 16, Kate Norman. Morris checking the runner out there on first. Able to connect with Blankenship. Keeps the runner honest. Pitch away. And Sanders looking for the throw down there is second. Unable to connect with Kessler. As Roberts able to steal second, leaving the corners empty with Norman still up to bat. 1-0 the count. Pitch in the air, on the way. Called ball, 2-0 now the count. Next pitch. In the air. Inside hits the runner in the back. Again, that's Norman. That looked painful. That'll bring up number 13, Mason Thomas, to bat for the Warriors. Pitch away. And it's going to be fouled away as Thomas showing his bunt there. Runners on first and second. Third base, the only empty base on the field. Pitch away. Again, Thomas bunts the ball, fouls it away. 0-2 the count. No outs thus far in the bottom of the fourth. 3-1 the score. Warriors on top. Thomas patiently waiting the pitch. Morris. Pitches in the air. Going to be popped up over deep right field. And it's going to roll foul. Ince almost able to get the out there. Just like a few feet he would have had it. O2 still the count. Pitch away. Cold strike. 
That'll be out number one, sending Thomas back to the dugout and bringing up number three, the one-hole hitter Sutton Moore for the Warriors. Last time Moore stepped up to the plate. It didn't look good for the Leopards as Moore was able to put the ball over the fence, deep center. It cleared the fence with maybe 15, by maybe 10, 15 yards. First pitch called strike. 0 1 the count. One out, runners on first and second. Tucker Morris pitching for the Leopards. Next pitch away. Called strike. That'll bring the count to 0 and 2. Next pitch. It's going to be a grounder over to second. Ty Ferguson makes it look easy. Gets it over to Blankenship for the out there at first. But that's going to leave runners on second and third with two outs. And that will bring up the two-hole hitter, number eight, Marlon Moore for the Warriors. Washington's coach given the ump instructions. Ump walks away, head hanging down low. Pitch away. Called strike. 0 1 to count. Two outs. Again, up to bat for the Warriors, number eight, Marlon Moore. Next pitch in the air on the way, way outside. Called ball 1-1 one, one the count. Next pitch, called strike, one, two, the count. Next pitch, looked high, called ball, two, two, the count. Pitch away, popped up, going to go foul. 2-2 two, two the count with two outs. Runners on second and third. Warriors looking to try to capitalize on some hot bats from the beginning of this inning. Ball's going to be. A line drive over to Bentley Kessler there at short, who's able to connect with Blankenship for the out at first. That'll be out number three. That's going to leave two runners stranded out on the field for the Warriors. Warriors unable to score here in the bottom of the fourth. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
And welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma, where we're going to begin the top of the fifth inning. Washington on top, three to one. We're going to start this inning with number three, the two-hole hitter, Ty Ferguson, up to bat for the Leopards. Ferguson pops one up over to left field. If it had just a few more feet back, it would have been over the fence. But unfortunately, the left fielder able to make the out there for out number one. Now that's going to bring up number. It's going to bring up Tucker Morris, the three-hole hitter, number eleven for the Leopards. That one's going to be called a strike. Next pitch away. Cole. One and two now the count with two outs. Bases empty. Next pitch away. Two, two now the count. Two, two the count. Next pitch away, and catcher unable to snag that one. Next pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three for Tucker Morris. And that's going to bring up number 21, the lefty, Bo Blankenship, to bat for the Leopards. First pitch way low, way outside. Called ball 1-0 the count. Next pitch. It's going to be popped up over to second. Warriors make it look easy for out number three there. That's going to close out the top of the fifth inning. Warriors still on top, three to one. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopards Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
First pitch called strike, 0-1 the count with two outs. Caskill got a little scared there at the last minute. That'll be strike number two. Oh, two now to count. Pitch away. Low it inside. Cold ball. One, two the count. Waiting on the pitch. Ball's in the air. High and outside. Cold ball. Two, two the count. Next pitch away is going to be popped up over to right field. Ince trying to get up underneath it, but it's going to be just beyond his reach. And we're going to welcome the one and only Parker Dotson's father. <laughs> That's right. Eric Dotson to the show here. And what a show we've got, Eric. 2-2 two -two now the count with two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Pitch away. It's going to be... Over to third, ramming, able, unable to connect with Blank, blank and Ship. McCaskill's going to make it over to second. Blank and Ship tries to get the out there at second, uh, unable to do so. Yeah, it's just a tough play to make. Ramming's having to charge it as fast as he can run there. And when you're running as fast as you can, in the opposite direction, you got to throw it. That's, that's just a hard throw to make. I don't care who you are. And, uh, just got a little bit away for blanket chip there, and really yeah. no harm yet. I mean, they got to run a second, but we got two outs, so just concentrate on pitching and try and get this batter out here. And fortunately, we had one of our linemen over there at first, as he he kind of held the runner up a little bit there, as there was a collision, and that's going to bring up Wells to bat. First pitch fouled away. You know, there's two of the top teams in the district right here. They could go, both teams could go a long way to state, maybe if, to the state championship game, and they're both in the same district. Yeah, definitely state championship implications here. Yeah. Wells pops one up over to right field. Ince getting up underneath it, able to grab it. That'll be out number three. Ince making it look easy. Warriors again. This is, Eric, this is three innings in a row. They've been unable to score. Leopards gaining a little bit of traction. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to open up the top of the sixth inning here in just a few moments. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network. Welcome back here to Washington, Oklahoma. We're going to start the top of the sixth inning. Warriors on top, three to one, but Leopards clawing their way back as the Warriors have been unable to score in the last three innings. Aiden Ramage will start the inning up to bat. That pitch did not count. No. Uh, I wish it um, did. It, it was another ball. <laughs> Next pitch on the way. Swung at line drive over to the pitcher who's able to get the forced out there on first. That'll be out number one. Next up's catcher number 22, 22, Clayton Sanders. You know, he hit a 
stand-up double off the wall earlier. That'd come in handy right about now. And, yeah, it, it, you know, it. he's getting hotter. They're starting to figure this pitcher out. Anything could happen in this inning. Pitcher throws the ball way outside for ball number one. Again, our, our guys are starting to heat. Our bats are starting to heat up. We've we've left a lot out on the field. If, if you're watching this and see that the screen's a little dark, the reason why I could, there's storms heading this way and the cloud cover, it, it's dark outside, and that's what's going on. 1-1, one, one, now the count. One out. Clayton Sanders again up to bat. Pitch away low and wait. Strike. That'll bring the count to one and two. Sanders waiting the pitch. Pitch away. And it's going to be fouled away down the... That's the same pitch he just pitched before. Where Clayton knew he had to swing at it because it was called, it was called strike on him. Yeah. It was low and inside. Almost hit his ankle. So. And... It, like I say, smart play there on, for Sanders yeah, you, to you recognize got, that pitch. One and two the count. Ball's in the air. It's going to be a line drive over to the second baseman who's going to get the force out there on first. That'll be out number two and bring up number 10, Brody Ramming, for the Leopards. Brody was hit, I believe, yeah. the last at-bat. Yeah, he was. Loaded the bases. Pitch away. And the dirt ball won. 1-0 one -oh the count, two outs. Next pitch away, swung at and missed. i will bring the count to 1-1. One and one. Next pitch, swung at and missed. Bring the one ball, two strikes. I, don't, I guess they're one and two, the count. Pitch away. Look to be outside and low. Ump agreed. I'll bring the count to two and two. Ball's in the air. It's going to be Maybe popped up over just beyond second base. And everybody having a hard time grabbing that ball. That's going to put ramming on first and bring up Mitchell Henson to bat for the Leopards with two outs. You know, if Mitchell can put it in play and get a base hit, you know, in the gap. Brody Ramming is fast enough to score from first. That's exactly what we need to happen right here. Pitch away, called strike. That ball is outside all day long. 0-1 the count. He must have went to Washington University. Got him out, threw him out. Pitcher. I'm not sure about that one either. Did you, did you have the camera over there, RJ? Hmm. And with that being said, that's wow. going to be out number three for the top of the sixth here. We're going to go to a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopard Baseball right here on the Leopard Sports Network.
Welcome back to Washington, Oklahoma. Washington Warriors up on the Leopards, three to one, going to the ball in the sixth inning. Number nine, Nate Roberts of the bat. Ball inside. Tucker Morris has thrown a great game. The one zero pitch. Outside, ball two. The two zero pitch to Roberts. Outside corner, strike one. Two balls, one strike to Roberts. It's going to be a fair ball right down the third base line. Bounce off the wall. It's going to be a stand-up double for Roberts. That ball was a rocket. It was on the ground the whole way and hit the bounced off the fence. They'll bring up number 16, Cade Norman. For the Warriors. No outs, runner at second. Roberts getting a courtesy runner. Number six, Cage Morris in the run. So ball in the six, no outs, runner at second. Cade Norman up to bat for the Warriors. Umpire's kind of looking around, wondering what's going on. And Yep, we're waiting on you, buddy. So here we go. Ball low. Ball one. One old pitch to Norman. Gonna be in the gap. Left fielder makes gets the ball and we'll get it into shortstop. So runners at the corners now, no outs. Bring up number 13, Mason Thomas. So the Warriors are threatening once again here in the bottom of the sixth. Going to get a visit to the mound from Coach Edwards. See what he does here. If he's going to just visit, tell him to calm down, or see if he's going to make a change here. I was walking to the stadium a while ago and felt a couple of sprinkles as I was walking up here. So it could be getting rain here in just a little bit. Hey, we, we, we're in the, the, in the nice air-conditioned press <laughs> box. You know, and with that being said, i got to give a shout-out to the uh, administration here at Washington, uh, athletic director. Uh, Lindsey guy. <laughs> Lindsey guy, uh, Mr. Newby. It, listen. It, we always call around to to these schools before we, you know the morning that we're going to show up and and yeah you know, they're all super fantastic um, but one of them that always sticks out is Mr. Newby always extremely hospitable and and all the people here um, the the other the Washington people here in the press box just uh, just a great group of people to work with. 
So Mason Thomas squares the bunt, the pitch, strike one. And Sanders throws out the runner at second. So one away now, runner at third, and strike one to Mason Thomas. Yes, ball called strike, and the runner really wasn't giving them much effort to get the second. Xander said, hey, not so fast, buddy. Go one to Thomas. That's going to hit him in the shoulder. Hit by pitch. He'll take his base. That'll bring it number three, Sutton Moore, top of the order for the Warriors. So once again, runners at the corners, one out. Pitch to Moore. High ball one. Thomas with a pretty good lead at first. Outside it, ball one. Something I just noticed, Eric. Is that a cast on Thomas's left hand? I'm not sure. Out there on first. So that is ball two. Two and oh the count. Yeah, I believe that is cast on his hand. 2-0 pitch. Swung and hit hard. Ramage is there to make the play. The runners will stay where they stay put. So runners will remain at, on the corners, two outs. And that's going to bring up number eight, Marlon Moore. Two-hole batter. So the Warriors have been threatening since the very first batter of this inning, and we're one out away now from getting out of it. This is very reminiscent of the last three innings, Eric. The maturity and be able to keep your composure that way. Right down Broadway should have been strike one. I'm not sure what the ump saw there. Called it a ball. Right down the middle. Fouled away. Strike one. Runner at first will retreat back to first. One-one pitch is outside and low. Ball two. So two and one to Marlon Moore. Runners on the corners, two outs. Ball on the sixth. Got him. Pickoff move from Morris to Blankenship. Got the out at first base. That'd be third out. And we'll be back, folks. We've got a heck of a ball game going on here. You're watching Leopard Baseball Live on the Leopard Sports Network.
Welcome back to Washington, Oklahoma. We're going to the top of the seventh inning. Leopard's last chance to do something here. Down three to one to the Washington Warriors. And uh, looks like number four, the center fielder, Mitchell Henson, will be up to bat first for the Leopards. Need to get something going here. And while we're talking about it, you, the Leopards play Washington again at home tomorrow. And let me tell you, Clayton Sanders was the leader of the student section for all of the basketball. He went to the football games, and he led the way. To basketball, cheer, too. To cheer on, you know, the Lindsay Leopards, no matter what was going on. I, I think the student section needs to show up in big numbers tomorrow to repay Clayton Sanders and this baseball team to watch an awesome baseball game. Because, I mean, two of the best teams in the state are facing off. It's a 3-1 ball game right here. It's not over yet. But tomorrow they're going to get to square off again at, at our house again, you know, tomorrow. So, student section, you've been charged right here. Show up tomorrow. Show up big. Mitchell Henson. The pitch. Inside ball one. And the Warriors send out a new pitcher this to start the top of this inning. That's going to be number 18, Johnny Montoya. We haven't seen him yet. You know, that up, called that ball earlier against us. Right down the middle is a call to the ball. Well, he just did it again, so he he's calling it both ways. I got to give him that. Ooh. That's going to be a ball high. That's 3-0 and oh now. Three balls, no strikes. Mitchell Henson probably be taken right here no matter what. You know, and this is a situation where a good student section could really throw this pitcher off at home. Yeah, I'm here, and you don't, you don't hear anything. I, I know we're in a press box, but you, you don't hear much going on. And yeah. uh, the, baseball is one of those sports where the crowd, you know, base, baseball is fed off energy. It's, it's, it's just one of those sports that is, and a crowd can actually have an influence on a game big time. And Mitchell Henson takes ball four and takes his base. So we've got a runner at first, no outs. Top of the seventh inning. Brings up Caleb Entz. Ball one outside. Caught the outside corner, strike one. Umpire thought about that one, but gave him the benefit of the doubt. Threw five balls in a row. Going to be a run, a play at second. He's going to call him safe. I thought the ball got there in time, but I think the ball fell out. I, I, yeah, the ball fell out and went five yeah. or ten yards back behind him. But he, he would have been out if he'd hung he would on to have that been ball. Out. So, Absolutely. A little bit of leopard magic going on here in the seventh inning. Mitchell Henson's at second base. No outs. 2-1 count on Caleb Entz. Long pop fly up to right field. Ball is caught. Mitchell Henson will stay at second base. And that's going to bring us back to the top of the lineup, Eric. Yes, sir. One out now for the Leopards. Back to the top of the lineup, just like Robert said. Number 16, the shortstop, Bentley Kessler. Kessler having a little bit of luck tonight, so let's hope that continues forward. Well, he made a heck of a double play a couple of innings ago from shortstop. Fouled away out of place. Be strike one. You know... A home run right here will tie the ball game. I'm going to go ahead and say it, Eric. <laughs> it's 300 no, to the corners. No pressure, Bentley. Curveball caught the outside corner, so says the ump. 0-2 the count. Going to ring him up on a pitch that was outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we get those kind of calls tomorrow night at our place. Wow. Strike three, out number two. Bring up number three, Ty Ferguson. I'm still in shock. Yeah, it, it's whatever on that. 
in the gap. That's going to score one probably. Oh, no, he's going to stay on the corner. Base hit, tie first, and runners down the corners. Two outs with the big stick, Tucker Morris up to bat. Tucker's due here. He can pop one over and give us a lead right here. One swing of the bat. Ball in the dirt. Ball one. And like you said, Eric, the algorithm is definitely ripe for Tucker to hit. <laughs> if, he, if he was a slot machine, he would be sitting, sitting ready to go at any moment. I tell you what, that catcher, number 21, Kane Springer for the Warriors, has been doing a fantastic job behind the plate. Ooh, Coach Edwards able to snag that one barehanded. <laughs> Fouled away, strike one. So one ball, one strike to Tucker Morris. And we didn't get that. You know, we never get the good plays. on. <laughs> He's always just outside the camera view. Curveball, going to be fouled out of play. Strike two. One ball, two strikes, Tucker Morris, two outs, top of the seventh. Leopards down to the last out to try to get something to happen. They have runners on the corners. The one, two to Morris. Curveball hangs up high, ball two. That one made me nervous because that one's been called strike earlier in the game, <laughs> so. Made me a little, little uneasy. If it had broke a little bit more, I think he'd been rung up. But curveball hangs up high again. Ball three, full count. There, Two this outs. Is, this is seventh gonna, inning. This is the true payoff. This pitch. is going to be it, or the ball game's going to be over. Runners, I'm calling it. Runners will be going here. It's going over. It's going over, Eric. I've got that much faith in the young man. There we go. You heard it right here. And it's going to be popped up right to the second baseman for out number three, and you that did, will be the ball game. You didn't let me finish my sentence. <laughs> I, it was, I, I was going to say it's going over to the second baseman. <laughs> well, that will do it, folks, for the, for the night for the Lindsay Leopards that go down 3-1 to one to the Washington Warriors. But what an awesome game. We get to do it all over again tomorrow night starting at 5 o'clock right there in Lindsay, Oklahoma. Student section, come out, be loud. That we got to be able to hear you, and we got to push your leopards to a victory tomorrow night. So with all that being said, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. You've been watching Leopard Baseball Live on the Leopard Sports Network.